Hey, Internet! Praise God and welcome back to Freddy Fish Free with Colorful Artie, everybody's favorite two-dimensional Let's Player. So, we've explored this a whole east part of town now, so let's go back and explore the west part, shall we? So right up here, we've got a nice little purple sea urchin. I spy with my little eye something beginning with a P. Can you guess what it is? Uh... Hmm... <laughs> it's a purple sea urchin! Good work, Luther. Good work, Luther. <laughs> I actually didn't think she'd say the same thing. That's funny. Every day I learn all sorts of neat stuff. There's just so much to know. Ooh. I can hardly wait to get home and tell all the other fish about our trip. So, Freddy's definitely the studious student. Makes sense since she's class president and all. Hey, we remember that. Kind of. A variation on that has been... Has Oh, uh, pardon me, sir. Get ready to see if they're a filthy king horse. Excuse me, sir. May we please have that Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper in your bag? Pretty comes up and I'm in the He's speaking a foreign language. I don't think he understood a word you said, Luther. May we please have the Shim Sham Jiminy Jam Clapper Gapper in your bag? What I prepared to see very much it is. Luther. If he doesn't know our language, speaking slower and louder won't make him understand you any better. It's true. Yeah, this is Horse Feathers. He's actually a foreign, uh, foreign tourist who speaks a totally different language. Pretty cool that they put that in a kid's game. Yeah. And if we'll remember that Sam the Pelican was selling a foreign language book, but he needs an orange, an orange sea urchin. Hey, look! There are loads of orange sea urchins in this wallet! We're rich, rich, rich! This wallet doesn't belong to us, Luther. According to this identification card, it belongs to someone who used to be the Grand Exalted Keeper of the Conch. I'll hold on to it until we can find the owner. Well, that clearly must belong to Uncle Blenny. And I didn't realize his name was actually Uncle Blenny. I thought it was Uncle Lenny, it's just Luther said it weird. But nope, everybody calls him Uncle Blenny. Even to people he's not an uncle to. It's a little weird. Also, this is a crashed plane. A bit dark for a kid's game. But... Wait, wait, I'm sorry, what? I am humongous. <laughs> yes, you are, and you are in a humongous game. So we can actually explore the pilot seat in here, which is kind of interesting. There's nothing here right now, but that might change in a future playthrough. <laughs> that red fish was uh, having a seizure over there, I guess. Oh, hey. Hey, get out of the bullies club. So this is a claw, a member of the bullies club. This is a bullies club. No whims allowed. Boy, this guy's got a big time bad attitude. <laughs> That's true. Uh, you guys got the perfect dimensions for punching bags. Now stop bugging me or I'll take out my pen of frustrations on ya. This guy just doesn't know how to be a polite host. <laughs> I know. How rude of him. This here is the Bullies Club, and you nice guys can't get in, so scram! Freddy, this guy is really mean. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's like the meanest you can get in a kid's game. Do you know who took the Great Conch Shell? I didn't see who took it, but my bet is on that guy Pierre. He's kinda shady. I hope you're not stereotyping him just because he's French, because that's not cool, man. Being a bully means never having to say you're sorry. I feel sorry for bullies, because inside, I don't think they're very happy. <laughs> oh, Freddy, how wise of you. <laughs> oh, man, I love this. <laughs> a few months ago, 
I couldn't even spell bully. Now I am a bully. Still can't spell it, though. I don't think that being a bully is a good thing at all. Yep, that's true, Freddy. Bullying helps nobody. It does not help the bully, and it definitely does not help the bullied. So that's all we can do over there. But we still have this whole area up here we can explore. <laughs> nice beach towel. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> Crab on a pogo stick. Just typical everyday stuff you'd see under the sea. This is kind of cool. We actually get to interact with somebody who's on land here. Is there anything I can get for you two? Not right now. Thanks. By the way, name's Magenta. I'm Luther, and this is Freddy Fish. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Freddy looks so adorable there. Would you like to try a banana? No thanks. I already had a big bowl of krill toasties for breakfast. <laughs> krill toasties? I've never seen that before. That is hilarious. Fish come in so many beautiful colors. That's one of the things that makes each of us so special. Ah, Freddy. You you are just so hey, nice. Look at me. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on a second. What? Hey, you got me. Now where have I heard that before? So you're uh, cosplaying and imitating, well not cosplaying, you're just imitating the zebra from Puppet Saves the Zoo. Okay then. Mmm, grapes. Pineapple? Oh, that's better. Bananas I do not like at all, but I appreciate that other people do. What? Uh, I would not eat anything else from that banana pile, personally. If it had bugs inside one of them. That is pretty gross. Uncle Blenny's depending on us to catch the... To catch the who? What? So, was that an incredibly moldy banana or a pickle inside a banana peel? I really hope it's a pickle. Later, Magenta. We'll be seeing her in a future playthrough. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Look! A purple sea urchin! Freddy! How come there are no pink polka dotted sea urchins? But there are! They live in the secret sea, where everything is pink and polka dotted. You just made that up, didn't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, Freddy, you prankster. Look, Freddy, there's something behind that waterfall. Wait! Luther! <laughs> Waterfalls do not work like that, kids. Mm. Whew! That knocked the wind out of me. Me too. We're just gonna have to find another way to get to that waterfall. So this is, in my opinion, one of the best puzzles they've put in a kid's point-and-click adventure game. So you can see there's this hollow log over Freddy, here. this log looks kind of like a tunnel. And it seems to be stuck in the mud. Oh dear. Ah. Ah. Alright, let's just dig it out. Hey Luther, help me dig out this old hollow log and pull it into the water. Okie dokie. I'm guessing a plastic shovel is not ideal for this, but why not? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot, Luther is like a professional heavyweight boxer. He's super buff. So now we got this floating log. Let's try pushing Come it into on, the waterfall. Luther, help me push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. <laughs> I love how nice they are. <laughs> Just a little further, and we'll have this log in position. Yep. Uh, can't stop pushing. 
must keep moving forward. Let's meet the Robinsons. And now we've got an awesome tunnel through the waterfall. I just had a brainstorm. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. Is she trying to help Luther or is she being incredibly condescending? You decide. Oh boy. What do we have here? Luther, I think we need to find something else for that blue tailed Joey bird to cuddle with if we want to get that golden pipe. That's true, but he did drop a feather for us. Look, it's a feather from a blue-tailed Joey bird. It's beautiful, Freddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good job, Luther. Freddy, that bird is hugging our golden pipe. She must have lost something very precious, Luther. Okay, that bird's just flat out cuddling the pipe. Okay, so we can actually jump inside this. This is not uh, uh, what you might think it is, which I personally think it looks like a dark witch's cauldron brew. No, you can just jump inside. It's actually the local theater. Everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentlefish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed! Oh yeah. So this is just a little theater. We can see different fish skits. There are a couple I want to show off. They're kind of amusing. Those kebabs. Come on, folks, let's hear it. Show them that you love them. But, but that wasn't great entertainment. That was okay entertainment. Let's see what else we got. Booyah, this is the one I wanted to show off. Hey, dude, be funny. <laughs> Best entertainment you'll have all day. Hey, let's Make some noise out there! Do we have to, though? Oh, bother. Well, we got Uncle Blenny's wallet still, so I think we should return it to him because it's really not right to just take stuff that doesn't belong to you. Pretty sure that this wallet belongs to Uncle Blenny. Oh, he's still so sad. We found this wallet. My wallet! You're both doing such a good job helping me. Please take an orange sea urchin for your trouble. Thanks a lot. Aw. Just one? Luther, say thank you. Thank you, Uncle Blenny. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. Hey, we found one of the golden pipes. We found a golden pipe, Uncle Blenny. Thanks, nephew. Old Soggy needs three items so he can sniff out the thief. I'm afraid that just won't do it. Oh. Also, shouldn't it have our scent on it instead? And if it's underwater, should it even still have a scent? Please enlighten me. Yeah, we actually have to go back out this way. We can't get the golden pipe inside the clam just yet. But you'll remember, Sam the Seagull had a book for sale if we gave him an orange sea urchin. How would you like to sell that foreign language phrase book for one orange sea urchin, Sam? I'd rather get a snack, but an orange sea urchin will do. Oh yeah! 
Thank you. Thanks a lot, Sam. We'll put this to good use. What a pal. And we have our thumbnail. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed flying Pelican Sam Airlines, where your bill is never as big as mine. Is that all you say? Aw, oh, doggone it, Sam. I can't wait to catch the real conch shell thief and get poor Uncle Blenny out of jail. I'm with you there. Oh, yeah. Freddy, you're my best friend. Well, thank you, Luther. All right. So you remember Pierre Lapierre wanted the perfect top to his hat? Well, we've got a nice feather here, so let's try that. Hey. Pierre, we found a beautiful blue-tailed joey bird feather. We thought you might like it to decorate your hat. Oh, yes. The feather is a perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. You can keep that roly-poly egg. Do you want us to actually put it on the hat, or do you want to sew it on? Nope! It can fall out! Wow. Sensei must call Pierre again in pain! Aw, oh, thanks, Pierre. You're a gem. I can't believe that Claw thinks that you're suspicious. That just doesn't it make sense. Alright. So if we go back uh, into the waterfall, you'll know that there's the joey bird there. Let's try giving him the egg. This egg should make that blue-tailed joey bird happier than that golden white pepper one. It's a hard-boiled egg, so it's actually not going to hatch. Golden hatch, Luther. No, Freddy. Golden pie. All we need is one more golden pipe, and old Doggy can sniff out the thief. Oh yeah. Okay, but that egg was A, underwater, B, we don't know where it came from. It's highly unlikely it'll be the uh, egg for a joey bird. Even if it was, it's highly unlikely it'll ever hatch because it was underwater for who knows how long. But let's, let him cuddle it. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find the conch shell so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. <laughs> that was great voice talent. Humongous Entertainment Games, at least the early ones, tend to have pretty good voice talent. Not that one. That, not that part. All right. Darn it, we could have done all this in the last episode. Maybe we will. Maybe I'll edit it all together. Freddy, I can't understand a word that foreign tourist is saying. Maybe we can find the language he's speaking in this foreign language phrase book. Booyah. <laughs> so let's look through. Aha! Here we go. See? That flag matches up... Nope, not that one. This flag matches up perfectly with the one on his, uh bag. So let's use that one. May we please have the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag. So the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving horse feather so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. Oh, he doesn't want it? Why don't you just take it out of the bag then? Mr. Feather, sir. Oh, yeah. We have the Shim Sham Shim Sham Flapper Gapper, whatever. Man, Freddy Fish, you have the weirdest names for switches that have robotic arms that come out of it. But whatever, now that we have that, we can get the last golden pipe. And I love the music in the, the background. The Shim Sham Jimmy Jam Flapper Gapper will keep that clam from snapping shut. Yeah, it will. Okay, Luther. I'm gonna need your help. Righto, Freddy! <laughs> Yikes! The clam just flat I out got ate a golden it. Pipe. I don't care what anyone else says, you're a good fish. 
<laughs> wow, nice backhanded compliment, Freddy. We found all three golden pipes. Come on, let's see if Old Doggy can pick up the bad guy then. Yeah. Here you go, boy. Come on, Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice, like, Aztec temple that's been sunk. Old Soggy! The thief! Look at that gem. A jewel! I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! Uh-oh. Hey, what happened? Well, I, I saw this jewel and, and then I took it out and the door closed and I don't... Just put the jewel back, Lothar. Lothar! Oops. Don't worry. I'll find a way to get you out so you can put the jewel back and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, you go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. All right. How's that for a cliffhanger ending? We're just going to have to see what happens in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.